time to talk about uh, quantum computing hardware, we use the superconducting qubit as an example. As I said, you don't need to worry about that part. We will learn that later, right? So you don't need to study unless we start reviewing again. But I want, do want to go back to a, a question you asked me last time, that what is the unit of G? I was not able to answer. And I feel shame about that because even I forgot that we should be able to just do some simple dimensionality analysis. So I want to show you, actually, I, sh I should have been able to answer you uh, on the spot, right? So first of all, we talk, say about there is a cross curve, which is G squared divided by delta. Basically, it is saying that, well, your cavity have the resonant frequency omega r. And because of the qubit, you change the resonance frequency of the cavity, right? If your qubit is zero state, you reduce it by g squared divided by delta. If your qubit is at the one state, you increase by g squared by delta, right? So what is the unit of omega? Of course, if we don't care about the two pi, hertz, right? Hertz. Or radian, right? So let me just call it hertz. I, Make it simple. Then the unit of G squared divided by delta must be also hertz, right? Because you are doing subtraction. But what is delta? Maybe you forgot. Delta itself, delta is here, actually I do mention here, is the difference between the qubit and the cavity resonant frequency. So delta must also be hertz, right? Or radian not radian, I mean <laughs> angular frequency, right? Hertz, right? At time two pi. Then what should G be? Something divided by Hertz is still Hertz. Then G must be, G square must be Hertz square, right? So then it means the G has a unit of Hertz. Okay, so I should be able to tell you that even I forgot, right? <coughs> And now if we come back to this equation, we can see similar thing actually. Energy is h bar omega, so fine. So this is actually omega, right? So here I also have h g h bar g. So my g must be also hertz uh, uh, times 2 pi, right? Unless I is that what are the units of this? And it turned out that these are unitless if we remember the oper uh, operator, that uh, the racing operator and the poly matrix. Sigma is a poly matrix uh, after you do the some uh, rotation, not exactly the poly matrix. Uh, so it is unitless. The racing operator is also unitless, right? We will learn that later, but I should have known that when I, in the last lecture. So again, it makes sense. G has the same unit as omega, okay? So just one as a re review to institute this knowledge to you. And also I want to say that very often we can do dimensionality analysis to understand the equation, okay? So the unit of G is Hertz, okay? Any questions? Yeah. O, omega or O? Omega, omega is the, this is omega, not O, yeah. It's the angu capital omega. It's the angular frequency, I mean the resonant frequency of the cavity. Okay.